Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you a quick way to, you know, remove the password from the worksheet. Um, I'm gonna try this out in Excel 2010. So you can utilize this particular code or method uh, in case you've lost the password for your worksheet or someone has left the, uh, you know, uh, the worksheet, uh, you know, protected and has uh, disappeared somewhere and left the company or your organization or whatever it is. So, uh, to start with, I'll just go ahead and just protect the workbook. So, let me just uh, put in any password, any random password. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Uh, password. Just enter any password, really doesn't matter. So, just enter paste and paste it again. What I did was like just right click and paste and click on OK. Now, what you need to do is uh, I have added a code in the description, so just uh, go and copy it from there. And after you have that uh, with you, just go to developer tab, just click on it and click on Visual Basics. So, this is the code I have uh, put in together. So I'll just uh, show you how to, you know, put it. Uh, just go to Insert from your Developer tab and click on Module. So in case this uh, uh, the pane, you know, like the project pane is not available, just click on Control R. So that will be Control. Sorry, Control R. So that will be visible. So if this is not there. Control R from your system, and you can just paste the code you copy from there, just like that. So I'll just walk you through the code uh, once I show you the demo. So just once you paste the code, just you need to click on uh, close. Now just uh, to run the micro, just activate the worksheet that you want to, you know, re reset the password. So right now for demo I have uh, log sheet one. So just click on micros and select this particular micro that is remove password Excel worksheet and just click on run. There it is. So it says one usable password is this blah blah. So now you'll find that you can just type in. It's already unprotected and it's okay. So. Let me quickly walk you through the code. So I'm just removing. Uh, okay, let me just close this local window. So for further reading, I have uh, included some links um, to see how you know um, Microsoft work with you know the protection and password and encryption and all this stuff. So, uh, so the first portion is uh, all the declaration and it has all the nested loops. Uh, we have. Um, 10 loops altogether. So chr is uh, like a worksheet function which is character plus chr. So if I put 100 you get letter D. So similarly uh, in Visual Basic if you're using like chr 100 you get a character. So basically the what the code is trying to do is just uh, create the nested loops and create a combination of all these characters using the loops for all these characters starting from 65 to 66 for instance so this is putting all the combination and trying to you know uh, unlock the sheet so this particular line where it says on error resume next so whenever there is any error just keep on continuing till you know you find a possible combination to unlock your particular worksheet so this particular portion is just to unprotect the worksheet with this combination of uh, it's all the concatenation of all these nested loops uh, variables so I've just included this particular line just in case you want to see what are all the combination it has uh, gone through to uh, protect unprotect your worksheet so if you're running this particular code in 2013 office it might take uh, 
some more time but uh, in 2003 to 2010 office uh, it will be pretty quick so